make the craziest faces. I feel like the weirdest part about making your first video is that first intro. It's like, how do you introduce yourself without saying, hello, my name is Hannah and welcome to my channel. I don't know, but for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys on how I take my Instagram photos. So if you guys didn't already know, I'm a photographer, I went to school for it, and I do take all of my Instagram photos that I post. I will leave the link to my Instagram um, down below, so go check me out there. But I get a lot of requests asking how I pose myself and how I get inspiration for taking pictures for my Instagram. So I thought, might as well show you guys what I do, cause I just feel like being productive today. I feel like a lot of times if I'm not working, I'm laying in bed watching episode after episode of New Girl on Netflix, and I need to get out of that habit. I need to start focusing on my goals more, start focusing on that grind, that glow, you know how it be. So I need to shower, I need to pick out my outfit, I need to do my makeup, so I'm gonna take you guys along on this little process on how I take my Instagram photos. Okay, so I just hopped out the shower. So I'm thinking this is going to be today's outfit for the shoe. A nice towel shot. I'm just kidding. But I'm going to show you guys how I pick out my outfit and just like a simple makeup look that I usually do. I'm not gonna go into the full like makeup routine, but I will give you guys like some tips on what I usually do. I'm looking like a absolute mess right now but it's okay but I want to tell you guys I usually get my inspo from either Instagram photos that I'll see or Pinterest I have like Pinterest boards and like photo ideas um, but the inspo I'm going with today is I was watching a YouTube video um, of like different like Instagram poses so this is kind of what I'm going for today focus yes okay so this photo is kind of the inspo i'm going for uh like a little like black top little outside scene and then i'm gonna do my hair up in like a little ponytail it's not golden hour right now so i'm not gonna have like the same lighting effect but i'm kind of going for that simple like up close like portrait shot so let me show you um what i'm gonna wear okay so i have this little black top it has like a little bumblebee on it so i thought that would work perfect simple cute little top and since you're not really going to see my um, bottoms, I'm just going to wear a pair of jean shorts. Okay, so here's the outfit that I'm working with today. Um, like I said, you're not going to see the bottoms, so it doesn't really matter. But just realizing this outfit is really cute, and I should really wear this out more. But yeah, so I got the simple, cute little black tank. And you still need to fix my hair. It's a little bit wonky, if I say so. Like, cute. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I need to put my hair up into a ponytail, put a little makeup on, and I will be set for the shoot. Let's go. Okay, so my makeup routine is never too extravagant. I usually just wear a little bit of foundation underneath my eyes, and then I'll put like a little bit on like any blemishes or acne I have or on my nose that gets a little red, and then... I'll do my eyebrows a little bit and then mascara and that's usually about it. For anybody that wears makeup, you know the weird ass faces you make when you're doing it. Oh yeah. This is how you attract the opposite sex or the same sex or a pigeon, whatever you're into. Yeah, baby, what's good? How you doing? This is why I'm single, and that's why I will continue to be single until somebody understands my unfunctional humor. Okay, so one thing I think that can change your whole makeup look is honestly just by brushing out your brows because bam! Look how like full that is compared to this, this girl over here. She needs some work. Like, I feel like a whole new woman with these brows all did. Curl them to the fucking woods. Yes. Do you ever just, like, say stuff and you're like, how can anybody think the shit that comes out of my mouth is funny? Because honestly, I know I'm a goofball. And I really don't fucking care. 
I'm gonna do it anyway. If you like it or not, you know what they say. Your, your vibe attracts your tribe. So continue to put out your good vibes. Continue to attract your vibe. And don't give a fuck about anybody else. Because this is your life. And you can do whatever the fuck you want. As long as you're being a nice person and you're not hurting anybody in the process, I think you can like just do what you gotta do. So I just finished my makeup look. I need to charge this battery because it's about to die and I will be back after that's done charging to do my hair. Let's go. Mini dance break. Yeah. When the clubs open back up after COVID, catch me at the bars, getting all the mans. Let's go. <laughs> I'm back, my battery is charged, and now I'm gonna put my hair up into a ponytail. Very grungy look, but that's not what we're going for. So I'm gonna douse my head with some dry shampoo. Give a little body to it. Thinking kind of like a high pony. Ooh, kind of messy. Not really into like putting it together. Kind of like my life. It's a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? Kind of loosen it here. Bring out some baby hairs in the front. Like I said, I like that messy look. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere. What is that? What is that? That's like my personal unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the look we're kind of going with. Now that we're ready, let's go find a place to go take these pictures. Quick little dance break. Get in the spirit of taking photos. Get excited. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, look at that little. Ooh, look at that little bokeh right there. Oh, and that little sun flare. Ooh, we love it. I finally found a location because it's about one o'clock. The sun is directly overhead and that's actually the worst time to take photos because the lighting just doesn't hit your face in the most flattering way. It's better to do it like early in the morning or during like sunset. And then my dog always comes along with me for taking photos. She's so cute. Hey, baby. So I found a location for um, taking the photos. It's kind of underneath this tree. I don't want too much of a busy background, but I am going to lower the aperture so that the background is a little blurry, um, which is what I'm going for for the photos. So I got my camera set up over here. I have a Canon and then I connect it to my phone so I can, oh, you can't see it very well but it's connected to my phone and I can see exactly what my camera sees. So um, when it comes to posing, I don't really have a set idea on what I'm going to pose. I kind of just sit in front of the camera and do different kind of like little poses. No, I never do that. But I'm just gonna give you guys a little like, what would you call it, a little montage of me taking some photos and let's get it. died while I was taking photos I know really professional wow but um I did get that little montage of kind of the little process of what I do when I'm taking my photos I don't like to think too much into my poses I kind of just go with the flow and do like cute little like you know woo and kind of just do what I'm feeling I get into my own little world when I'm taking photos which is why I love it so much um, but right now, I am currently editing the photos. I'm not going to go into a whole depth on how I edit them and what I do to them. But if you do want to see a video on that, I can definitely show you guys on what I do when I edit my photos. But I'm going to get editing those. So I hope you enjoyed today's video of the process of what I do when it comes to taking my Instagram photos. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your day. Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Let's see what we can come up with. Um... Yeah. 
Stay cute, my babes. Stay dreamy. Never stop being yourself. And keep being you. Have a great rest of your day. I'm also going to put in the photos that I edited, so stay tuned for a minute to see how they're edited.